Good morning, Rose. Becky, welcome. All the way from Virginia. Oh my God, Beth. Beth, Beth, Beth. Kelly and the boys, I'm guessing maybe. Jackie, good morning, good morning, good morning. I signed on right at nine o'clock, so we're gonna give it a minute or two. Hey, Craig, good morning. Um, so if you guys have anything at all that you could use, Karen, um, anything that you could use at all, grab it. Um, we're talking um, dishwasher, or laundry detergent, a gallon filled with water, probably not your milk. But an empty milk jug with water, um, cans of corn, cans of veggies. Um, I do have one dumbbell that I'm going to use, and we have elastic bands. So those of you who have an elastic band, you can grab that band as well. So I'm going to be using this here, but we're going to have to modify. Hey, John, welcome. Good morning. So. Again, for those of you just coming in now, hey Meredith. So those of you coming in now, grab what you can. Um, I, I have a, an elastic band in my home and I have a dumbbell. So that, that's what I got for this period inside. Um, but other things you can get, things of laundry detergent. So this has been emptied. Um, I, I had it actually in the recycling. I had to go to the recycling bin to grab it out, fill it with some water. It's about 10 pounds. Um, Anything really that's easy to hold that has some weight. So as long as you've got something that you can um, use for resistance when we use it. We're going to do a lot of things without resistance at all and we'll be fine. So we're going to do things, anyone who's new to this workout with me, we do body parts like legs and then upper body, chest and arms and shoulders. Some of those are going to be more difficult to do without equipment, but everything um, we could do everything together and have a great workout together and just enjoy this hour together. Um, have a good communal workout virtually. So, um, I'm going to start, let's check the time. I'm going to wait one more minute and then we're going to go. So this still gives you guys another minute to grab anything you might have. That's good. Brandon, if you're on the call, you can grab something like a car engine or something from your garage. Uh, anything like that. Anything of, anything of, um, a little bit of weight. If we have any kids on the call, you can grab like a basketball or a volleyball or a beach ball or a pillow. You don't need to have weights. The kids just have something when we do it, they can have that in their hands, even if it's just like a pillow or a basketball. We're gonna be going to the floor too. So that's the, that's the other thing here too. When we go to the floor, <clears throat> if you want something to lay on, grab a blanket, grab a towel. Um, if you have carpeting, you're gonna be fine with just the carpeting wherever you're at. So again, this is uh, for those of you who have not officially met before, I'm Brian Quinn. Um, worked with recovery for years now, and this is our Saturday morning workout. I also, I'm not gonna play music because the music's gonna be distracting to my speakers on my phone. So it's a good chance, time for you to play whatever music you want, because I know most people don't like the music I play. So play whatever music you want to play at your homes. Make this workout all about you, and let's get going. We're going to start to move our arms back and forth. I'm going to try to get this phone a little bit more upright. There we go. And so again, moving the shoulders. Hey Eileen, and let's just rotate those shoulders around. We're gonna be doing some push-ups. Everything we do today has a modification. So we'll modify anything for anybody who's on this call. There's not anything you can't do. So we're just gonna go some high knees up and down. And again, because we don't have any weights and this is my type of workout anyway, we do a lot of reps. We're kind of high rep. So we're gonna do some 
butt kicks here. Just bringing that heel in back and forth. Keep those going. Then we're gonna go for some squats. So we're just gonna squat down and up. Squat down and up. Squat and come on up. Squat and come on up. Keep those going. We're gonna go for about another four or five of these. Here we go, we'll go four more. Five, four, Three. That was my first um, untruth of the workout. I said four more and we went for five more. One more here. We're going to keep this one down. Stay down in this squat. Working everything from the backside down. In three, two, one. Come on up. All right. So if you have something, I have a dumbbell. You could also use the detergent, a gallon of milk can of corn, whatever you have that's somewhat heavy, and it could be anywhere from one to however many pounds you have. It doesn't have to be super, super heavy. We're gonna go for triceps, that's the underside of the arm. We're gonna do these kickbacks here, overhead extensions. Here we go, one. If you want your elbows forward, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're going for 25, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We got five more, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Go ahead and set that weight down. And now all we need are our fingertips. So we're gonna bring our hands behind our body like this. We're gonna stand up nice and straight and it's as if we're trying to bring our fingertips together. So it's safe to lock your arm now because we have nothing in our hands that's gonna hurt our elbow. So go ahead and lock your arms. Bring your fingertips as if you're trying to bring your hands together and squeeze those triceps. We're going for 20 seconds, so squeeze, 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 keep going. Really flex those triceps. We have 10 more seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. That you can do anywhere. You never need a weight with that. It works the triceps so well. Grab your weight again. Here we go, 25 more. One, two, three, four. Try to keep those elbows forward as much as you can. And again, you can have a pillow in your hand, you can have a basketball in your hand, you can have anything you want as long as it's not hurting your elbows or your shoulders. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Here we go. Last one. Now go ahead and set this down again. Now grab those fingertips. Well, don't grab them. Take those fingertips. Bring them back. We're trying to touch again. 20 second hold. Really squeeze those triceps. In this mo uh, motion here, it gets the triceps so well. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Grab that weight. Whatever it is you use the first two rounds, grab it again. Hi, Marie, welcome. Here we go, bring that weight up, and it's one. Again, anything can be used that you have that has any weight to it. Four, five, going for 25, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Even if you had a weight that was kind of light for you, by now you should be feeling it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go with those arms again. Hello, Nikki, welcome. We're gonna take those hands, put them behind your body again. We're gonna do it a little differently this time. So bring those fingertips behind you. Remember, those arms are locked straight. It's so rare that we lock any joint when we're working out, but here it's safe to do. Bring those fingertips together. This time, we're gonna pulse it. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze those triceps. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. All right, it's our last round. Grab that weight. Whatever it is you've been using, we got our last round, 25. Here we go, elbows forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna stay down when we get to 15. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now stay down. Stay down, elbows forward. We're gonna do 10 little ones. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and pop it up for 10. All right, we're done with the triceps. <clears throat> Hope y'all are feeling good, doing okay. You can comment as we go along with this workout. Um, this is trial by error Saturday morning workout in my little meditation room in my house. Uh, so welcome to my home. We're just starting. We're going to go to the next. We're going to go to legs. So we're going to go lunges to start. So if you have weights, you can use them. I'm not going to use anything. I'm just going to go for the lunges. Now with lunges, you want one foot forward and one foot back. Idea is to drop down. We don't want to lean down. We want to drop down, bring that back knee towards the floor. Safety, make sure when you're in the down position, you can always see the toes of the foot that's in front of you. That means your knee's in a safe position. When your knee overshoots your toes, it's not the safest thing for the knee. So make sure we're in safe lunge position. Hey, Corey. And if you are, Stephen, if you are in a um, area that hurts your knees, which lunges can do that if you have some knee issues, what I want you to do instead is get into position. As we go down, I want you to shift forward and squeeze your glute, your butt cheek, up the back leg. So you're just gonna go forward and squeeze, forward and squeeze. That's the alternative. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. We're going for 25. Six. Now, if that's a lot for you, take a break. Eight, nine. If we have new people that are working out with me for the first time, 25 is a lot of lunges. So take breaks as you need. 12, 13, 14. We have 10 more. We have five more. Five, four, three, two. Now stay up, but keep your feet where they're at. If you need to take a break, take a break. But make sure that same foot is forward because we're going to go again in five, four, three, two, and here we go, 20, 19, 18. Remember, uh, keep looking down every once in a while, make sure you can see those toes. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, come on up, but stay up. If you can, keep those feet where they're at. If you need to take a break, walk around, move those muscles. 
but we're going to come back with the same foot forward. In five, four, three, two, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Stay where you're at. We have two more rounds to go. We have ten and five. Take a keep breathing. Nice deep breaths. Grab a drink of water. If you need it, we're going in five, four, three, two, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, if you can, stay right in place. We're going to go for five more in five seconds. Four, three, two, here they are. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake them out. We've got the other side to do. Marty, good morning. All right, we've got the other side to do. Remember, this is a lot. If you've not done these before with us, take your time. Take breaks as you need. Because we just did 75 lunges. All right, here we go. Get ready to go to the other side. Right foot, or I'm going to the right foot. My left foot's back. I can see my toes here, but I also want to check when I'm in the down position. Remember modification, shift forward. Now squeeze the butt cheek that's behind with the foot behind. So you don't want to be hurting your knees as you do these. All right, here we go. 25, one. Two, three, and many of you will feel, if you have knee issues, you might feel it just on one side, so modify that side. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, make sure you can see your toes, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, we have five more to go. Twenty-one, twenty-two, 23, 24, and 25. All right, go ahead and shake it out. All right, my brother Mike is here. Welcome, Mike. Here we go. We got the other side. Or not the other side. We got the same side. 20 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, five more, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Go ahead, try to stay there if you can. Welcome, Reed. Try to stay there if you can. And here we go, 15, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. If you can stay there, we got 10 is our next round. If you need to move, move, but if you can stay there, stay there. Here we go. 3, 2, and 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. If you can stay here, we're going for five more in five, four, three, two, and five, four, three, two, and one. That was a hundred and fifty lunges, and it's nine twenty. Good job, everybody. Take a break, shake those legs out. Grab a drink if you need it. Hope you're all doing okay. We have our heart rate accelerator now. So with my workout, what we do is we do some weights like we just did with the triceps and the lunges, work the quads, 
the glutes, some hamstrings. So we did some major muscles already, but now it's time for a heart rate accelerator. So we're gonna go for two minutes. So we don't need any equipment. All you need is a little space around you. If your kids are joining you, you just wanna spread out just a little bit. All right, here we go. We're gonna go for two minutes of a heart rate accelerator, 20 seconds of each move. I'm gonna show them to you so I can give everyone a modification. First one's called fast feet. We go as fast as we can on the balls of our feet. If that's not good for your ankles and your knees, just go for little bitty high knees like this. Next one is jumping jacks. 20 seconds of jumping jacks modification. Always have one foot on the ground, just like that. Third one is jump squats. We're gonna come down, up, down, up for 20 seconds modification. Don't leave the ground, just come down, come up on your toes, down, up on your toes. We're gonna to do two rounds of each. Modify as you need, take breaks as you need. And here we go. Fast feet, 20 seconds. Modify as you need. Remember, there's no need to do something that's hurting. You don't wanna do anything that's hurting ankles or your knees or hips. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Jumping jacks. Remember that modification. Three, two. One, jump squats, down and up, down and up. Remember the modification, don't leave the ground, come up on your toes. Ten seconds. All right, fast feet. Remember that modification. Keep them low. Five, four, three, two, jumping jacks, 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, jump squats, 20 seconds. Remember that modification. If we have any kids on the call, you could quarter turn it. Well, anyone can do that. If you want, five, three, to take a break, grab a drink. All right, we're gonna let the heart rate come down a little bit. If you need it, grab a mat, put it on down. We're still going to take a little bit more of a break, about 30 seconds. We're going to lay down for abs. So what we're going to do, we're going to do Tabata bicycle crunches. 20 seconds of a crunch, 10 second break, 8 rounds. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Here is um, a bicycle crunch. It's opposite elbow to knee. If you have lower back issues, here's your modification. It's elbow to knee, but feet are on the ground on the other side. Back and forth. Back and forth. That grounds our lower back into the mat. So get ready. We're going to start in five, 
four, three, two, and bicycle crunch back and forth. Ten more seconds. Five more seconds. And take a break. Ten second break. And we're going to go again in seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, round two, and go. Regular bicycles, just like we did the first round. These are not going to change all rounds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take a 10 second break. Remember that modification, go one at a time. Always have a foot on the floor. It grounds our lower back, keeps our lower back safe. Here we go, round three, 20 seconds, same move. Five, four, three, two, and one. We have five more to go. In 10 more seconds, we're gonna hit round four. Remember doing eight rounds of these. In three, two, and one, 20 seconds. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, take a break. Halfway done with these, we have four more rounds. Hey Brandon, we're doing bicycles, four rounds, and go, 20 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take a break. We have three more rounds to go. Should really be feeling it right in the center of our abs here. We're going to go again in five, four, three, two, and go. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. Two more rounds to go. Remember that modification? We're going to go in five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Modification. Always have one foot on the ground. Remember, look up at the ceiling, not at your knees. It's going to keep your neck much safer. It's going to keep you from pulling your neck. Five, four, three, two, and one. We have a 10 second break. Five, four, three, two. Here we go. 20 seconds. Finish up here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take a break. We're done with that. We're going to move it to the chest next. So if you want to keep your mat, if you have a mat, if you're on um, anything, if you're like in a hardwood surface, grab something for your knees. We can do some of these push-ups on your knees because we're going for push-ups the same way we did our lunges. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for 25 push-ups. Then we're going to take a break. 
20, take a break, 15. So we're doing 75 push-ups. What you can do is instead of on the floor, you could do them basic on your toes and hands. You could do them up against, or you could go onto your knees and your hands, up against the back of a chair, up against the countertop, up against the wall. Anything you can do um, to do these push-ups. Any variety, oh Beth, so good to work out with you. Um, we're gonna go for 25, then take a break. So pick your positions of push-ups, whatever they look like to you, and go. Stay where you're at when you got those done. We're gonna let everybody finish up. So while people are finishing up their push-ups, those of you that are done, take a few breaths in. Well, not a few, take a lot. Don't not breathe, but breathe nice and deep. Get some breath work in there. All right, we're going in 10. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, twenty push ups. And when you got those done, take a break. We have fifteen, ten, and five to go. Three more rounds as people are finishing up. We're gonna go again. All right, here we go in 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Here we go, 15, modify into any type of push-up that you can do here. With a lot of these modified push-ups, you get more shoulders. Traditional push-up, you get more chest. So there's no wrong way to do it. All right, in 10 seconds, going for 10. Five, four, three, two, and go. We got a little break coming up to do our five. All right, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, we got five push ups and go. All right, push ups are done, squats are next. Grab a drink. We got about 10 more minutes of this workout, then we do a cool down, stretch, and meditation at the end. So we're gonna be wrapping up by 10 o'clock, but I wanna make sure that we got this great group together. We do some breathing together and some meditation together. So as you are taking a break, grab a drink, we got squats are next. All right, so for the squats, while we're still breaking, squats are bringing your butt back. Same thing with the lunges, make sure you can see your toes. So as you squat down, you want to be able to see your toes. If you can't, we need to be bringing our butts way back more. So it's really bringing your butt back. So we're doing Tabata squats, eight rounds. 
20 seconds each round. And here we go. First round, just regular squats. Now, keep going with your squats. If that's not good, high knees with an opposite hand is your alternative to the squat if that bothers your knees. Listen to your body, do not hurt your knees or cause them discomfort. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one, 10 second break. Next round, we're gonna go as fast as we can up and down. Five, four, three, two, here we go. Up, down, up, just nice and fast. If you're modifying, a little bit quicker. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and take a break. Ten seconds. Next round is slow. Just like the first. In five, four, three, two, and one. Two, right about this pace for 20 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Take a break. We have five more seconds. The next round is fast. Three, two, and one. And up, no, down, up, down, up, down, up. Remember that modification. Five, four, three, two, and one. 10 second break, four more rounds to go. Regular squats. Five more seconds. And break. Next round, they're called basements. We stay down nice and low for all of the squats. In five, four, three, two, and one. Stay low and a down, down, up, down, up. 15 seconds. 10, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We have two more rounds. Normal, regular squats for round 7. In 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Make sure you can see those toes and remember to modify if that's bugging your knees. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Take a break, we have one more round. One more round. Nice and fast for the last round. And go. We're going to stay down low when the 20 seconds is up. We're staying low if you can. If you're doing the modification, just stay up. In five, four, three, two. Everybody get as low as you can. If you can, drop an inch. Drop an inch. We have a four count up. Four, three, two, and one. Shake them out. Shake those legs out. All right, next round, 
We're going to be doing a little bit of shoulders. If you have light weights, grab them. I'm using black beans and no salt added corn. So what we're going to do, I think if you have salted corn, probably weighs the same as my guess. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to throw punches. If you have light dumbbells, you don't want anything more than fives or eights in your hands with this, and you don't even need anything. Seriously, you could just use your fists. Speaking of this, make sure if you're working out with kids around you or other people, give yourself some space. These are virtual punches, not real connecting punches. All right, here we go. We're gonna just crisscross, suck in the abs, and just punch and punch. Really twist, we're getting those obliques. Twist, 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 twist. Keep punching. If you have shoulder issues, just keep it lower. Punch towards the floor. Just down and down. Still crunching those abs, you're still gonna get it. We're gonna speed it up. Punch, 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 punch. Keep going, speed it up. We're gonna pick a side and stick to it. Or down if you have shoulder issues. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and other side, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Crisscross punches and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Closer in. Keep breathing. Big inhales if you can. Get that much air in as you can. Remember, shoulders just punch down. Keep it narrower. Let's speed it up. And up to the ceiling. We're gonna stay here, and we're gonna come down. Four, three, two, hold it. Four, three, two, bring it together. Four, three, two, one, out. Four, three, two, one, up. Four, three, two, one, down. Four, three, two, one, forward, four, three, two, one, out, four, three, two, one, up, four, three, two, two count, one, two, in, two, out, two, up, two, down, forward, to the side, to the top, down, forward, to the side, single count, down, forward, out, up, down, forward, out, up, four, three, two, three more, four, three, two, two more, four, three, two, one, and four, and three, and two, stay up and hold, keep breathing, down and hold, forward and hold, out and hold, up and hold, and set those veggies down, something I've never said in a workout before. All right, so let's roll our shoulders out. I'm just trying to show you guys, there's lots of things you can do without weights. I know a lot of us miss those weights, but let's remember during this time, muscle memory is very, very strong, and it comes back relatively quickly. So we don't have to worry that, you know, we feel like, I'm losing too much muscle or I'm, or I'm shrinking and I'm losing my size and all of that stuff. And we, that may be true and that may happen and that's actually going to happen if you don't have access to weight. But I promise you it's going to come back and I'm going to help you do that when we're back together. But with that muscle memory is so strong, aerobic memory not as strong. So this is a time for all of us, including me who's not the biggest fan of aerobic, 
is to get out there. So I look at what Jonathan's doing. I look at what Chelsea's doing, the people I've seen anyway, and um, Lisa. The people that are out there running and, and biking and hiking, all these things, it's just time for us to condition that if, we, if we've kind of been leaving that at the side. So for me, I'm going to focus more on conditioning my heart and lungs and flexibility through yoga. So I've already started the yoga practice as of last week and 30 minutes a day, two to three times a week. And this is my little bit of energy boost with some canned corn. So we're going to get through this together. I promise you that. And I hope we'll stick together because I want us to grow even stronger together when we're back together. So we're going to start to move the body around again. While you're on the call right now or on this Facebook Live, um, every single day of the week at 11 o'clock to the Recovery Facebook, we do a meditation that's about 10 minutes long usually. Anyone is welcome to join that. Just a way for us to connect again, focus on our breathing, focus on our thoughts. I'm a firm believer, as all of you know, in meditation, it helps guide me. And in meditation, it doesn't change what's happening in the outside world, but it changes our reaction to what's happening in the outside world. And now is the time more than anything that we could probably use that. Um, let's go back and forth again with our arms. Tabata, what we did a couple things with our legs, with squats. Um, we did it with the abs. Just goes to show you eight rounds, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds break. You can do it with anything. You can do it with your biceps, with veggies, up and down. Um, if you have two things of the same size, you could do it with milk jugs, with laundry detergent jugs. We just have to be creative. But again, let's not beat ourselves up at this time and get into a negative state over not being able to lift weights. Those weights are going to be there for us when we come back. All right, let's do hands behind the head. Roll the elbows back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Look upward. Really start to focus our breathing, letting our heart rate come down. We have lots of stuff. Please check out our calendar on this recovery page. We have some wonderful, wonderful people leading uh, things daily, Monday through Friday. Um, Jonathan, Chelsea, Yana, Lisa, Kirsten. Uh, we have a great group of people leading um, support and every aspect that we're offering it's all to support our community and you're all part of that community so we want you to take part if you're in need so if you're new to me pull the heel into your backside stretching out the quad grab onto something if you need to for balance but remember balance it also comes from our earlobe our nose or our belly button those are balance points those are trigger points for balance If you want to go deeper in the stretch, all you got to do is squeeze your butt cheeks together and squeeze the butt cheeks. Doubles the intensity. Also goes to show you if you have knee issues, we got to work those glutes because our glutes are in direct correlation to our knees, even though it's funny to think that. Let's pull the other heel in. Remember those points. Squeeze those butt cheeks together. Double the, the strength. So anyone who had to modify with the lunges because your knees are bugging you, that's actually going to help your knees because if you're squeezing your glute every time we're doing a lunge, that's going to be good for your knees in the long run. And then lastly, let's go nice and wide with our feet. We're going to bring our elbows, our pinkies into our elbow crease. And we're just going to simply fold at the waist. Come down, come down, come down. Let our heads hang loose. Gives our neck a good stretch, our shoulders, all along our back, especially our lower back, our glutes, our hamstrings, and even our calves. Slowly start to come on up. Take a couple of deep breaths together here. Grab a drink if you need it. If you want to stay on until 10 o'clock, we're going to do a, about a five to seven minute meditation. If you can stay, I would love for you to stay with us. You can stay standing, you can stay laying down, you can sit down, however you want to do this. 
Just make yourself, make sure you are comfortable. I had a few people reach out to me this week through private message and ask me if I'm doing okay. And I'm like, oh no, that's just my uh, face when I'm, I'm thinking, I look like I'm kind of pissed off or, or mad, I'm not. I promise you I'm not, it's just my face when I'm thinking. So if you get that impression from me, I promise you it's just my resting face. All right, here we go. Let's start to slow everything down. We went for 45 solid minutes with only a couple minute breaks. Go ahead and close your eyes. Inhale tall. Just to exhale and let everything just surrender. If you're seated or laying down, with every exhale, just fall deeper into what's supporting your body. Let's let our shoulders drop. Let our chins drop. Let our cheekbones relax. When we do that, we can almost feel our forehead elongate. If you find yourself distracted, just exhale. Every time you exhale out, just let go of any distractions you're having and just let them go, even if you have to do that over and over again. For many of us right now, our endorphins are pretty high from the workout we just did together. So this is a great time to picture all those people that we want to be around, but at this point we can't. Our friends, our loved ones, our family members. Just imagine all of those people on your inhale and on your exhale, let's just wish them happiness. From here. Inhale again. On the exhale, let's wish them good health. Inhale again. Let's wish them peace. Now let's think of anyone in our lives, maybe in the past week or so, that maybe got under our skin or maybe annoyed us or made us angry because we never know what's going on in people's worlds. Let's give anyone we might be feeling a little conflict with. Let's inhale and put those people in our mind. And as we exhale, let's wish them happiness. Inhale again. Let's wish them good health. And our next exhale. Let's wish these people peace. And then finally, to ourselves, we need to, the most important thing we could do is be kind to ourselves. And on the next inhale, think of ourselves and let's exhale and wish ourselves happiness. Instead of wishing, let's say I am. On the next inhale, I am in good health. Next inhale, at the tops, pause just for a second as we exhale, I am at peace. When you're ready, go ahead and open up your eyes. I like to do those types of things because it helps ground me and make me present to realize even if life is not perfect and we know right now there's a lot going on, our meditation practice can help us respond to that differently than if we don't. It's like armoring ourselves up for the day. 
you know, if you think about it, we brush our teeth, we tell, well, maybe not now, I don't know who's doing what, but in a normal day-to-day -day thing, we present ourselves to go out in the world so that when we get to where we want to go, we look good or we present well. And we do all these things to physically make ourselves appropriate or wherever our environments are. We, doing that mentally is just as important. We need to armor ourselves up for what's out there. And we're, all we're doing is armoring ourselves with positive thoughts. So maybe you're not in the best health right now, but if you breathe in, I am in good health, our brain is going to hear good things. It's not going to cure your ailment that you have right now, but it could definitely change your mind to trigger it just for the present moment. And sometimes if all we can get is a present moment, that's a gift. And we can do that all throughout the day, day after day after day after day, minute after minute after minute. Just come back to this moment and just say, I am whatever. Because whatever we need, this will always deliver. And I sound like a broken record for those of you who know me, but what our mind thinks, our body will follow. And that's always the case. So let's be keeping kind to yourself. We have been through a week together, no matter what part of the country we're in, what our lives are like, we have all been through a week. So um, kudos to you for sticking with this and putting yourself first and getting some exercise in. And uh, I will be back at 11 if anybody wants a little more in-depth meditation today. It's back on the Recovery Fitness page. Um, I didn't know really uh, how important community was until I got, I mean, I did know what community was or the importance of it, but meeting Recovery Fitness has taken that to a whole new level. And this agency is here for you no matter what um, your needs are. And, and if you're in recovery, please use us as a resource because we're here for you and we're doing all that we can to provide services for you virtually so let us know you can message us if you need anything see you at 11 if you come back i'll also be here tomorrow at 11. if i don't hear from you or see from you have a great week ahead and let's keep on um, moving forward goodbye everybody thanks for joining beth it was so good to see you Oh, you're welcome, John. It was good to be back. I wasn't sure how this was going to go, but I loved it. Jackie, you're welcome. Rose, you're welcome. Becky, if you're still on, it was so good to see you up there the whole time. All right, I am going to now um, post this. It's going to be on the Recovery Fitness page as on all of our supports. Um, we record them and then put them on there for later so you can follow this workout on your own again anytime you want to from the Recovery Fitness page. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day.